In this question, we have a sample of 2.11 moles of gas, and we're told that it occupies 27.1 litres of volume at a temperature of 294 Kelvin. So let's start by filling out our known variables in our helpful table here. So 2.11 moles of gas, that's the symbol N. We've got 2.11 moles of gas. We're told it occupies 27.1 litres. That's our volume, so let's put that in next to the V for volume. 27.1 litres. At a temperature of 294 Kelvin. So that's our T here, and that should be measured in Kelvin for this question. So we've got that in Kelvin already. In this question, we're trying to find the pressure of the gas in the sample. So the P is going to be our unknown variable we're trying to solve for. However, we still have one other variable here that we don't know yet, which is R. Now, R is the molar gas constant. So we need to go to our reference sheet to find the value of R. So over here, we can see molar gas constant. We've got two different options for R. We've got R measured in joules per Kelvin mole at the top, and underneath we've got R measured in liters ATM per Kelvin mole. Now, in our question, we were given a volume in liters, a temperature in Kelvin, and an amount in moles. So that looks like the correct unit to get our pressure in ATM. So this is the R we're going to be using in this skill, 0.0821 liters ATM per Kelvin mole. So let's fill that out here as well. 0 0.0821 liters ATM per Kelvin mole. Okay, so we've got our four known variables and one unknown. We're trying to find P, the pressure. So let's head to our reference sheet again and find an appropriate equation to use. So up here we have the ideal gas law. PV equals NRT. That includes all of our known and unknown variables. So let's write that down. PV equals NRT. And we're trying to find P. So first, let's solve our equation for P. On the left, we've got P multiplied by V. So if we divide everything by V, that will cancel out our V on the left. leaving us with P equals NRT over V. So we can go ahead and put our numbers in now. N, the number of moles of gas, was 2.11. Multiplied by R, the molar gas constant, was 0 0.0821. The temperature in Kelvin was 294. And we're dividing by V, the volume, which was 27. 0.1 liters. So we can put that into our calculator, which gets us a pressure of 1.88 ATM. So let's check if we got this right. Awesome. So we filled out our work table there, and we can finally answer the question, what is the pressure of the gas in the sample? It was 1.88 ATM. So in these questions, it's going to be using the same five variables each time. Your role is going to be figuring out what's our unknown variable, filling out all of the known variables, and then manipulating our equation to find our answer. Let's do one more together. In this question, we've got 1.32 moles of gas occupying 22.5 litres of volume at 2.91 ATM of pressure. So let's fill those into our work table. So the number of moles was 1.32. The volume is 22.5 litres and the pressure is 2.91 ATM. Again, we need to fill in our R, which is our molar gas constant. So going back to our reference sheet, that was 0 0.0821 liters ATM per Kelvin mole. 
So we can fill that out now. Awesome. And we're left with our unknown, which is the temperature. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down our equation again, which is PV equals NRT. This time we're trying to find temperature. So to solve this equation for T, on the right we've got temperature multiplied by both N and R. So if we divide both sides by N and R, those are going to cancel out on our right hand side, leaving us just temperature. So that gets us temperature is equal to PV divided by NR. Now we can put in our numbers for that. Pressure was 2.91, multiplied by the volume, which was 22.5, divided by N, the number of moles, which was 1.32, multiplied by R, the molar gas constant, which is 0 0.0. 821. If we put that all in our calculator, that gets us out a temperature of 604. And when we're using this equation, notice R, the gas constant, has units of Kelvin in its unit. So the temperature we found is in Kelvin. So let's fill that out in our answer box here. We've got a temperature of 604 Kelvin. Now the final answer asks for the temperature in degree C. We've calculated 604 Kelvin, so we're gonna to have to convert that to degree C now. So we can either just remember the conversion or we can look again in the equation sheet. And we've got the temperature conversions written here. So to get from Kelvin into degree C, we're going to be subtracting 273. So we've got 604 Kelvin, we're going to subtract 273, and that's going to get us a temperature of 331 degrees C. So let's check that in our answer box here. Wonderful. The later questions in this unit don't include this work table, but you should be working them out exactly the same way, listing out all five variables, writing down your knowns, adding in the gas constant, which will be the same every time for this skill, then writing down your equation and rearranging it to get our unknown variable, and finally solving to get our answer. Remember, all temperatures have to be in Kelvin for us to use this equation with the gas constant R using that unit of liters ATM per Kelvin mole. So if you're given a temperature in degree C, make sure you convert it to Kelvin before using it in this equation. Likewise, if you calculate an answer in Kelvin, you can then convert it into degree C to find your temperature in degree C afterwards.